I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a practice test question on factorials. We have four questions here to solve. I would like you to pause the video, copy these questions, solve and then look into my suggestions. Question number one. Express as single factorial x square plus 27 x plus 182 times x plus 11 factorial times x plus 12. Question number two is, express as factored factorial form, three times six times nine times 12 times 15. Question number three is solve the equation n plus one factorial divided by n minus two factorial equals to 56 times n minus one. And question number four is a communication question, is zero factorial equals to one factorial? Explain your answer. Well, here is solution to question number one, which is x square plus 27x plus 182 times x plus 11 factorial times x plus 12. Now, this expression, which is a quadratic expression, trinomial, it can be factored. So I could write this as what? So 13 times what is 182? 13 times 14, right? And when you add 13 and 14, you get 27. So I could write this as x plus 14 times x plus 13. Let me rearrange this also. Let me do it in the next step. We have x11 factorial and we have x plus 12. Let's rearrange all these terms. So we get here x plus 14 times x plus 13 times x plus 12 times x plus 11 factorial, right? Now, that could be written as x plus 14 factorial. Is that true? So that is how you could express this particular term as single factorial. Clear? Let's move on to the second question which is express as factorial, factored factorial form, three times, six times, nine times, 12 times, 15. Now this is a tricky question. We have to multiply three with six, with nine, with 12 and 15. Uh, you could think like this. Three could be written as three times one, right? Six could be written as three times two. Nine could be written as 3 times 3 and 12 could be written as 3 times 4 similarly 15 could be written as 3 times 5 correct this is times so you could think about how many threes we have we have 1 2 3 4 5 threes so that gives us 3 to the power of 5 right and what else do we have here? We have 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. So, so we could write this as 3 to the power of 5 times 5 factorial. Does it make sense to you? So we could write this in that form and that is factored factorial form. 3 to the power of 5 times 5 factorial. So that is our answer. At times you could expand 3 to the power of 5, which is 81 times 3, right? 243. So you could also write this as 243 times 5 factorial, right? So that is how you could do question number 2. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Let's move on and take the next question, which is to solve the equation. So we'll simplify the left side of this equation, which is n plus 1 factorial. So I could write this as n plus 1 times n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial, correct? Denominator is n minus 2 factorial. That should be equal to 56 times n minus 1. Okay. 
so n minus 2 n minus 2 cancel even you could cancel n minus 1 correct this also cancels perfect so what remains n times n plus 1 so we have n times n plus 1 equals to 56 let's open n square plus n minus 56 equals to 0 so 56 7 times 8 so we get n plus 8 times n minus 7 equals to 0 so that gives us n equals to minus 8 or n equals to 7 and of course this is not valid but this is correct right so we get our solution and the answer is n equals to 7 right so that is how it could be done here is the last question question number four is zero factorial equal to one factorial explain your answer well the answer is yes now let's try to explain it let's take few examples if i write uh, let's say four factorial it could be written as four times three times two times one correct so what we notice here is that four factorial can be written as four times three factorial correct similarly if i write three factorial it could be written as three times two times one which is or three times two factorial correct now if you follow the same trend two factorial could be written as two times one factorial and one factorial can be written as one times zero factorial do you get my point in general as you know n factorial is written as n times n minus one factorial correct so if i substitute one here for n i get the same equation perfect so if you look at this that is one factorial is equal to one times zero factorial now from multiplication identity we get this equal to zero factorial from multiplication identity does it make sense one times anything is the same thing and that gives you the result that one factorial is indeed equal to zero factorial is it okay so that is how you prove that one factorial is equals to zero factorial both are equal to one so i hope that makes sense so with this we have learned four very good questions based on factorials these are different kinds of questions which give you overall view on factorials i hope you understand and appreciate it feel free to write your comments and share your views and if you like and subscribe my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.